Hello everybody! Megan, don't sing the intros. No one asked for that. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am throwing it back with my old school hoops. They're very high school and what's also very high school is the throwback to this video. What's in my bag slash what's in my purse slash whatever the heck I ended up calling it. I actually just got a brand new purse and I was originally planning on doing an unboxing video. I don't think I've ever done one of those before. I immediately just opened it as soon as I got it without a camera and then I was like, ah, oh, it defeats the purpose. I didn't want to just do a what's in my bag and have it be like so clean. I mean, I want it to be clean, obviously, but I didn't want to be like, oh yeah, this is everything I have in my bag. Like it never gets messy at all because it is brand new. So I've come up with this idea where I now have my two most frequently used bags slash purses and I'm going to go through them and see all the trash that's in there and the stuff that's not trash and then organize and put all of the nice things and like little like just do my best to be just like an organized person. I can't even say the word organized. Like my ADHD is like not going to happen. Dream smaller. You know? So I'm gonna put all of that into my new purse and fingers crossed I'm able to keep it clean. I keep saying it's a new purse, but it's not actually new. It's just new to me. If you guys listen to my podcast, you know that one of our sponsors for a really long time, and if you listen to podcasts in general, which is I think how I heard about it at first, I got my purse from The Real Real. If you guys don't know what The Real Real is, first of all, do you not listen to my podcast? Second of all, do you not listen to any podcasts? I don't have a third of all, so just those two. <laughs> They're basically a luxury consignment shop that you can shop in person. There is a store on Melrose in LA and Soho in New York and they also have a website and an app and they have so many different brands like Chanel, Balenciaga, Celine, Gucci, 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 Gucci. So all of those luxury brands add up to 90% off retail. That's because they are pre-owned items. So they don't just have like women's like handbags, they have jewelry, they have clothes, they have men's watches and men's stuff. I haven't really shopped for the boys to be honest. Sorry, babe. They also have home stuff. So they have someone who's authenticating all of those different things. Also, I learned what a horologist is, somebody who authenticates watches. Isn't that cool? I learned that from doing the ad reads on the uh, podcast because I was curious. I was like, what's a horologist? Am I saying that right? Those authenticators ensure that every single item that you purchase is 100% real because nobody wants to get scammed. I certainly don't want to get scammed. And with that, let me show you guys the purse that I just got. Ha ha ha. Does that say Prada? Yes, it does. I'm not like a purse expert person, so I'm gonna have to read what the name of this purse is called. Oh no, it's kind of French-ish. Vitello Phoenix, Phoenix, but there's no O in Phoenix. Camera bag. This is what it looks like. It has gold hardware. I am obsessed with it. I really wanted to have a small handbag that has a zip closure. As you guys will see, the other handbag that I usually use that's black doesn't have anything that closes. And Mons and I are planning on a trip, planning on, no, we're planning a trip to Europe in the fall. And I wanted something that I could travel with slightly bigger than the one that I had so I could fit like a camera in there and everything. So I am just so into it. It's a really nice neutral, like, I don't know, like a light taupe beige, blushy, beige, blushy taupe beige. Why describe colors when you can just see them instead? And then it has this like nice, soft, thicker part of the strap, which I like because, oh, my trainer told me that my left um, shoulder muscles were building up so intensely because I was wearing my crossbody bag on one shoulder. So he made me switch it up. So this is gonna like disperse the weight a little, a little more evenly. Guys, it's in such, such, such nice condition. And I've said this before. Oh, where are my scissors? So I can cut the tag, oh, I can cut the tags off. These are some, some glam, oh my gosh, glam gold scissors. I've said this before, but I, I don't know, I hate being precious with items. I don't have like a ton of really nice designer pieces anymore. I really need to sell them, which is great too, because you can sell on the real real too. I really need to sell like three of my purses that I never use because I just, I don't like using stuff that feels so precious, like I'm just gonna ruin it. So I love the fact that it's pre-owned and also sustainable, way better for the environment. So it's got two pockets and this first one has some stuffing in it. In here also the the, the thing that like tells you it's real. It's got two little openings. Shall we uh, put this here and then go through my other bags? Find the garbage, get rid of the garbage and put the good stuff in it. I prepared with a uh, garbage bag. Also just so you know, I never get plastic bags from the grocery store. That's a mod's thing. I'm working on it. So the purse that I have been using like pretty much exclusively for the last couple of years is this one from Celeron, but this is just full of things that should be in a purse at all times, you know? Let's go through this. Oh my 
God, what is that? Wow. This is nursty. Some gauze with a little bit of dried blood. That can be thrown away. Who needs blood in their purse? I've got a ton of gum wrappers. Okay, yep, empty gum packet. Empty gum, empty gum, empty gum. Oh my gosh, so much empty gum. Bloody gauze. I've got um, these tissues that are kind of made into these various ripped up <laughs> snowflake things. This is what I do during therapy. I rip them up and I essentially like peel them apart and so they're different layers and then I turn them into snowflakes the whole time. Surprisingly, my therapist like doesn't want to keep them and frame them, but you know, just self-help things. Here's another one. Ooh, I was particularly snotty this day. Not too bad. This must have been like the second one. It also kind of looks like Mr. Napkinhead. Oh my gosh, and then a perfectly, almost perfectly clean one. This might have been right at the end of the session. Gum wrappers, gum wrappers, pack of gum with absolutely nothing in it. A lipstick from Smashbox. This is famous. That's a pretty nice color. I haven't used that because it's in my purse. I never use lip stuff that's in my purse, but I always keep it in my purse on the off chance that I'm like, what if I need a lip color? And I'm like, when are you bringing your purse to someplace other than Pilates, you know? Then I've got a hair tie. I've got my AirPods. I've got my sunglasses case, my sunglasses in them. These are these like Ray-Ban circle ones. I'll link them. I'm a, I love them. They're the only sunglasses that I wear. Got my wallet. I've got a portion of one of those unnecessarily long CVS coupons. This is $4 off. Next purchase, January, February, March, April. Already expired, sick. Wow, what did I spend that much money on? What did I spend that much money on? Oh, the doctor. <laughs> Cool. And then the last thing are my keys. I've got two keychains from my shop, Marty, and a tile that Aislinn got me because I lose everything. These I'm gonna keep out because I feel like they're gonna go into this purse. More like I know that they're gonna go in. So, oof. And then I have this bag. As you can hear, this bag is full and it's a tote. It's got a lot of shit in it and I'm not gonna dump it all out because that's excessive. Got my Adderall. Gum with one piece in it. Excedrin and Motrin liquid gels, cause Ray John period cramps endometriosis life. I have a visitor's pass for CBS. What audition was this? Something during pilot season that I didn't book. Not mad. Dior Paris around the world from the Denver Art Museum from Christmas. Oops. Piece of paper were my lines for a different pie that I didn't book. Got headphones. These are the ones that hook up to my laptop. I have a llama keychain from Ecuador that I never put on my keys, so I should put that on my keys. An empty birth control pack. Uh, paper towel, protein bar, and jerky wrappers. So my purse just smells like meat. <laughs> Another Trader Joe's meat stick wrapper. Ooh, I have a pack of carob vitamins. Let's keep those out. Got a drunk elephant lip balm. Got a pack of gum with one stick in it, one with five, and then a full one. Wrapper for a giant band-aid because I broke my big toenail off. <laughs> Sides for an audition that I didn't book. Really hope it does well. Not bitter at all. This paper is really weirdly torn up. Why did I rip this? Oh, this is Mopsa's. Paperwork that expired in 2017. I'll save it, give it to him. I have three different tea bags, two peppermint and one sweet and spicy. Got a bunch of loose makeup and then I have an empty makeup bag that this wasn't even in, so cool. Band-aid, trash trash, a dollar. Ooh, another band-aid. A hair tie, another hair tie that was tricking me because it looks like a gum wrapper. Mosquito repellent band, so not only does my purse smell like meat, it smells like meat and mosquito repellent. To be honest, guys, I got a bunch of loose pills in here and I don't I don't want to mess with that, you know? And like a cord. What is this for? Oh, I got a whole meat stick. Use Q-tip. Nice. Pens, pens, pens. And then just like a bunch of trash. Got a pocket. We found a pocket. Got the phone charger thing with no cord. And then three more lip products. Nice. The rest of that is trash. Now it's time to actually organize my purse and put everything in it. Okay, so does the meat stick fit? I knew this was meant to be. I'm gonna start by putting my makeup in here because that's what the makeup bag is for. It's from Tarte. I think the powder is gonna be good for when I get shiny. And then can I fit this? Yeah, we can squeeze that brush. Don't judge me for squeezing the brush. And then this one is good because I can use it for like either sides of my zits. Either sides of my zits. I can use either side of this for my zits. Let's do the lip balm. This is like the fresh sugar one. I really like it. It's like a lip balm, but it's more tinted and I wear that a ton. Let's see what these, oh my God. 
go. She fell right out. It's a Bare Minerals lipstick. It's nude. It's pretty. And what's this one? Oh, you're a darker nude. I don't want this one. So you're going to go away. I mean, we're going to get rid of you in a nice way. We're going to narrow it down to Glossier in Cake along with the Glossier Lip Gloss. And then this Bare Minerals one in Nudist. Let's just do the Fenty Lip Gloss. Except should we do this light pink one too? Very mean girl, which is good for auditions. Does that all fit? Oh my God, that all fits. She says, forcing it to fit. Okay, cute, nice. So that's gonna go in the back pocket with my meat stick. As practical as Band-Aids are, and these are animal print, I just don't think I'm gonna use, okay. And here's the tough thing. Now I have to decide between my Motrin and my Excedrin. Do I care about cramps or do I care about migraines? I bet I can fit both. Yeah, she fit both. And then also my Adderall. Oh my gosh, things are fitting. I'm just gonna have one pack of gum. Let me move the one that has one stick into the one with five sticks. You will go in my purse and then this fresh pack will go in the pantry. Let's add this llama keychain to my keys. Also, I feel like I am, what are they called? Rock climbers. I feel like a rock climber with this on it. Llama, so cute. You're gonna go in the front. And also in the front, I'm gonna put my wallet. Where'd the AirPods? My AirPods. I'm gonna throw my three hair ties in the back. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put my hair ties in the makeup pouch. Yeah. Oh, that dollar should go in my wallet. Hermer. Nice, nice. And then my sunglasses go right there. Guys, she's done. So cute. Oh my gosh, wow. I actually genuinely have room for more stuff. That's how you know I'm walking down the street. When you hear that noise, you're like, that's Megan and her pharmacy and her purse. <laughs> I'm really excited about this because I usually have to force everything into my very small little black bag or then I just put everything and it's too much. I'm like, I've got room, let me bring a bra and like four pairs of underwear into that brown bag. So now I have like a nice in between and this doesn't stress me out. Like the idea of traveling with this, I mean, I would have like a backpack and like suitcases. I'm not like that impressive. Huge shout out to The Real Real for collaborating with me on not only this, but sponsoring my podcast. If you guys want to shop on The Real Real, I highly encourage it. I mean, I like to save money in general. I like sustainable fashion. So if you guys are into that too, you can get $25 off your first purchase by using the link in the description. Now I like wanna go somewhere. I have makeup on, I have a new purse. I am wearing sweatpants though, so that would be hard. Yeah. Oh, I've got boob sweat. Let me know in the comments down below what the weirdest thing that you always have in your purse is. And are you like a big purse person? Are you a small purse person? Do you have snacks? Do you have meds? If you answered no to both of those things, I don't know if we could be friends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know what other videos you guys want to see from me. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.